Hi, I want to introduce you to Julia Marks, the protagonist and very charming main character in Heidi Goldberg Sloan's new book that's coming out in January 2017, um, short. But I'm going to introduce you to her the way she introduced herself uh, in the book. It's just a couple little sentences. I'm going to read it for you quickly. I'm Julia Marks. I'm actually two years older than most people think because I'm not tall. I don't use the S word. I just want you to know that because I'm more interesting than I look. And I am completely in love with this so far because Julia is more interesting than simply being short. And she is discovering that most people if you pay attention, if you listen, and if you let them tell and show you who they really are, prove to be more interesting than they might originally appear. I know she's in upper elementary school, but I haven't yet noticed, or maybe they haven't said actually how old Julia Marks is, but when we first meet her on page one, she has overheard her parents discussing the fact that she is so small for her age and she takes their comment in a difficult way thinking that they are disappointed in her and she feels bad about her stature and she decides right then and there that she's never going to use the S word short again but of course that proves quite difficult in our world. It is the summer um, and she was looking forward to having a good time with her two best friends, but one summer has, excuse me, one friend has gone off to summer camp and the other is on a vacation with her family. And to add another sad thing, I guess, to the summer that Julia had planned for her, her beloved dog Ramon has recently died. So she's planning to just spend the summer by herself writing letters to her friends and thinking about Ramon. But her mom has other ideas and has both Julia and her younger brother audition for the local theater production of A Wizard of Oz. And surprisingly enough, Julia is cast as one of the 40 munchkins in the play. And so she spends the first, I think, almost month and a half in rehearsals, and then there'll be one month of performances. And what Julia is starting to realize, and even as she gets used to being in the theater, is that um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, and her uncanny ability and her preference for quietly observing and thinking and pondering and noticing are serving her well. Um, she's just made friends, reluctantly, with the old lady neighbor down the street who is making the costume for her uh, to take to the director to show off and perhaps get the... Uh, Mrs. Chang, the neighbor, uh, the job putting the costumes together. And Julia was very excited about this until the director got so excited that he has made her the lead dancer. And if I've learned anything about Julia so far, it's that she does not want that kind of attention. Um, and so she has just decided that she is going to quit the play, uh, coming up with some silly excuses about why she can't do it. Um, because she's just, I think, really afraid of making a mistake and being uh, where everyone can see her uh, and just isn't comfortable with that kind of attention and the worry about what might come. She is charming, thoughtful, imaginative, and sweet. She has lots of very um, age-appropriate wisdom. It's kind of funny the things with her youthful perspective that she sees in truth about adults in the world around her and yet is also uh, 
naive and oblivious in a lot of ways, but I think that's one of the things that Heidi Goldberg Sloan captures so well in her characters is that juxtaposition that kids are experiencing as they are in upper elementary and early middle grade years. Julia Marks is a fantastic character. I am enjoying spending my time with her and um, looking forward to seeing where the story unfolds. So thank you again for joining me for a page 100 and I'll look forward to talking with you soon. Take care.